All right, guys, I'm working on this Mac again, uh, 97 Mac E7 350. Uh, changing out the injection pump today. A couple things to look at while we've got it out. Uh, you got that pedestal right there. Uh, there's only one bolt, and it bolts to that back ear there that holds the pump in place. That can break. Uh, also, if anybody's had the pump out before, they may not have tightened those top three bolts. In the back of that advance housing, um, you can kind of see the top bolt in the corner there. Uh, the top bolt in the corner was worked loose on mine, so I wanted to go through and retorque all that. Now to take this pump out, you want to set it at top dead center. Uh, and to do that, you need this special tool. It's kind of a unicorn. Uh, this one was pretty expensive, about 700 bucks. I'm going to show you this tool. You can see there it's got two detents that press in. Um, one for the A and one for the B. And when they are pressed in equally, both A and B light up. And that means you're at top dead center. Uh, you can kind of see there's a little alignment notch right there on the tip so that it goes in correctly. Now let me show you what we're working with over on these pumps. I'll go to the old one first. All right, there's your sensor port. And that's where you're gonna install your J37077 tool. Uh, inside, what makes that line up, let me see if I can get a good picture for you. See that little notch in there? You can kind of see it, it's just one little raised bump. It's about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, when that depresses both of those equally, you're at top dead center. So knowing that, you can get kind of close uh, if you don't have this tool. Um, pretty much, if it's right in the middle of your hole right there. I'm trying to get a good picture for you guys. You can see it right there. Right in the middle. Uh, that's going to be as close to top dead center as you can get. If you're using this light um, and you're at the A but not the B, you need to turn it clockwise until that both of them light up. If you've got the B and not the A, uh, it needs to go backwards just a little bit, but it's very sensitive within a couple degrees. So knowing that that's how that works and threads into that sensor port, you can get pretty darn close without uh, spending you know, $700 on a tool. Uh, on that, you know, without the tool, you're not really able to adjust your timing by much. Uh, we're going to put this one, it's timed at about seven and a half. We're going to put it up to about 10. So a little quick instruction on how that tool works if you're in a pinch.